Hello and welcome to the Thoughts from Consulting Online TM1 Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to manually create a cube in TM1. Uh, the data in TM1 is housed in the cubes and the data that you view and the data that you can browse through is largely de determined by the dimensions that make up that cube. Now dimensions are made up of elements and these elements to use a math analogy are a kind of series or grouping of like terms or like items. Uh, you know, uh, for instance, in the periods dimension, if I open this up, you can see that within the periods dimension, I have the elements January, February, and March, as well as current month and year to date for some dynamic uh, period calculations. You know, I also have the year aggregation that rolls up all the months into the total year. So all these elements are grouped together because they are period elements and they make up the periods dimension. Now when you combine this dimension with other dimensions you create data intersection points and that's how you define your actual specific sets of data. So when you're making a cube you need to take into account of you need to take into the idea of what am I trying to view, what kind of data am I trying to look at. So before you go about making a cube you need to get into your mind of what are you trying to create and what are you trying to view. So for this uh, exercise, we're going to create an HR headcount cube. Now, given our existing uh, dimensions, we're going to figure out which dimensions we actually need. We don't need accounts, and we don't need currency because that doesn't deal with headcounts, but we're going to need employees, periods, region, and versions. Now, this is going to allow us to look at our employees by the geographic region and store location, as well as over a time period, and we can also create budgets and forecasts with the version. So now that we know what we want to put into our cube, let's go ahead and create it. You can do that by right-clicking the cubes module and selecting Create New Cube. Then, name the cube. Now that we've named it, we just need to select the actual dimensions we'd like to create. Um, we'd like to be, that would act as the infrastructure of the headcount cube. So let's double-click employees, periods, region, and version. These are the four dimensions we want. Now just click create cube. Now, as you can see in the Server Explorer window, the headcount cube is now there. Now, if we double-click it to open up the cube, not surprisingly, there isn't any data. Now, that's because we haven't performed any ETL functions on it. We haven't imported data. We haven't done any processes that actually put data values in, here, in there. But now that we've created the infrastructure and we define the dimensions that go within the, within the cube, when we do bring in data, the intersections of the different dimensions and the elements will then give uh, specific pinpointed locations to send that specific set of data. So if you're defining something by a certain month, by a uh, you know, forecast and at a certain geographic location, that data will be properly allocated to that specific intersection of data points. So there you go. That's how you create a cube in TM1. It's a pretty simple process. You know, it just takes a little bit of forethought before you get going. I hope you found this uh, useful. If you have any further comments or suggestions, please feel free to contact us at www.thoughtstreamconsulting.com or you can directly email us at info at Thank you and have a good day.